Hey guys, HW. It's an absolutely stunning day in Sydney today. And as such, I thought I'll get out amongst the city and the water here at Darling Harbour. So I thought it was about time I came down and had a look at the redevelopment down here. Uh, firstly of the hotel across the way there that's called the W Hotel which is due to open its doors on the 12th of October I believe. It's where the old IMAX theatre used to be. So quite an unusual shape. So I think everyone's looking forward to that opening. And I'm just facing the Cockle Bay Wharf as, as well. But over there, that's the uh, hole that's been left by the redevelopment of the old Harbourside Shopping Centre. So I'll get over there a bit closer in a minute. Um, but while we face back towards the W Hotel, I'll tell you my weather observation for today. Clear skies, not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful. It's 21 degrees Celsius, which I believe is just under 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The wind's from the east at 24 kilometres an hour, which I think is about 14 miles per hour, but it doesn't feel like it. Even though these flags on the Piermont Bridge where I'm standing right now are flapping a little bit, it doesn't look like 24 kilometres or 14 miles. There's a little marina down there where the well-heeled cruise the boats in before they chuck into the seafood on the Cockle Bay Wharf there. So let's keep walking along the uh, Piermont Bridge now and, and go across and have a look at the old Harbourside shopping centre site and I'll let you know what's happening there. As I reach the old Bridge Masters hut up there, I'll do a quick sweep back to the city to show you the to show you the view. But yeah, walking along the bridge here, it's um, the sun beating down is absolutely beautiful got a short sleeve shirt on again today it uh, really does feel like a spring day today even though it's still in the low 20s you can see in the on the skyline there you can see the Sovatel Hotel next to the International Convention Centre in Sydney and the Novatel next door and then the Ibis next to the Novatel and then if we trace the bridge here you can see the Star Casino so one, two, three, four places there that have stacked with accommodation. All right, here's the Bridge Master's hut. So we'll turn around into a sweep of the city. There's the uh, Hyatt Regency over there too. Just there. Plenty of hotels around for when you come to Sitters, which is the nickname I like to give Sydney. All right, let's have a look at this Harbourside Shopping Centre redevelopment. I 
Do you remember what it used to look like? There was a couple of stories and stretched over that whole building site that you can see there. There's a lot of different shops in there. Been closed for a while now. And even since I've been down here last, um, like the actual structure was still sitting last time I came down here, but now it's completely gone. And what they're building there, it's a company called Mervac, and they're building a, uh, a collection of shops, residential towers, office towers are all going in here. And I'm trying to get my bearings here, but where you can see that green crane there, the green crane turning around, just next to that, they're putting a massive um, building. It's over 60 stories high. So the, a few of the hotel rooms in the Ibis and Novotel are going to lose a bit of their view, unfortunately. But yeah, I've seen the uh, plans for it. Which if you look up Harbourside, Darling Harbour, uh, Mervac, you'll be able to have a look at the plans yourself. But uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty substantial. And uh, for those that can afford it, it'll be a good location. So close to the city, close to all the shops and restaurants and cafes and the water. And then of course all of the yeah, decent medical facilities in the city as well. Yeah, look look down this end of the bridge. The flags aren't moving at all. There's no way the wind's 24k from the east. Maybe in Bondi Junction. Or Bondi Beach maybe, right next to the coast, but not here. Here's another look at the building site where the harbour side shopping centre used to be. So now we've got that reflection point, I'll be able to come back here in the uh, when it's completed in 2027. <laughs> As if I'm still doing vids then. Hopefully I am, because it's a hobby that I enjoy, but we'll see how we go. This bridge you can see up here jutting out of the Ibis. That used to take their, uh, what do they call them? That used to take their customers onto the monorail, which is long since been dismantled many years ago but just past the bridge here where this big sandstone block is that used to be where the entrance to the shopping center was just underneath the monorail station so there's that Mervac Oh, it's a bit of a story about Mervac. I thought it was going to be about the Harbourside Shopping Centre. But anyway, we're facing towards the Piermont Bridge Hotel now. And what I thought I might do is just before I left to get into the city, I thought I'll look around for a new coffee shop. And I found one. And interestingly enough, it was one that it was a coffee shop or a chain of coffee shops that I'd actually visited when I was in LA, when I was in Los Angeles back in early 2020 before the disruption. And it was called Ministry of Coffee. I tried to call them this morning to make sure they're open, but they didn't answer, so it may be closed. But there are some others in the same street that I'm going to, which is Union Street. And uh, I'll suss out a coffee no matter what. So, see you again soon. Uh, correction, it wasn't Union Street that I was heading to. I was heading down Union Street, 
but it was actually um, Miller Street in Piedmont that I was looking for just walking past the Harlequin Inn Hotel not much happening in there Let me check my map again. I think this corner over here is where the place was supposed to be. I oh, know I've got a bit further to walk. But if it's not open, I can always go into this one here on the corner. A beautiful sandstone building. I might even have a nectar outside there. side of the road over here I don't know where all these people are coming from I've never seen Piedmont so busy There must be a lot of businesses that have moved in around here. I know there used to be a television station down here somewhere. Let's check my map again. Just give me a sec to check it. It's too hard to hold this at the same eye. Oh, actually, I might just sit the camera down here. This is 104 Miller Street, so it must be down here. Oh, here's 104. <laughs> it's a pizza shop now. Better check to see what this place is down the road here as well. I oh, know there it is, it is open. Why didn't they answer my call? How dare they! Yeah, here we go, reminiscing Ministry of Coffee, just like I had it when I was in LA in Westwood Village. Let's try it out. All right, here we are. Thank goodness the Ministry of Coffee's open. Just waiting for my flat white to arrive. So this is Miller Street, guys, in Piedmont. It was, it was Harris Street that I turned off before and then previous to that was Union Street. There's the Ministry of Coffee again. Below this apartment tower here. Goes all right. Looks like they got some few breakfast items on the menu some bagels and wraps and they've got some goslami or goslam however you want to pronounce it which is that delicious Turkish street food this is they do have some sort of um, affiliation with Turkey this place I think they call themselves Turkish coffee or maybe the owners were Turkish I don't know but let's wait for the flat white to arrive 
All right, the flat white has arrived. Now I've got a shout out to make. This flat white and several others are courtesy of Lynn and Bruce of Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks very much for the nectars, Lynn and Bruce. This flat white is for you in Piedmont as well, not far from Darling Harbour. So, Ministry of Coffee, as I said before, there's another look at it, another look inside. Last time I was in Ministry of Coffee, as I said, was in uh, LA, in uh, Westwood Village, not far from UCLA. Now, I went there twice actually, I had a takeaway there. And I also had a sit down. But uh, it's in a pretty similar location, to be honest. It was a fairly quiet street, uh, but it had parking here in LA. This one's got a bike track next to it. So, yeah, let me enjoy this flat white and then I'll whack the camera back on as I walk back towards the city. See you soon. All right, we're finished in Unions. Sorry. We're I'm in, <laughs> I'm in Union Street now, but what I meant to say was I am finished in Ministry of Coffee and that was quite a delight. So write that down on your coffee diary for a place to, to visit when you come to Sydney. Ministry of Coffee in Piermont. It was nice sitting down there reminiscing of my trip to America and uh, and going to that particular coffee shop in um, Westwood Village, which is still there. I looked it up. They've actually got a couple of places. They've got one next to the uni as well, apparently. I thought I'd peruse these little cafes and restaurants on the way back. This joint's called the Quick Brown Fox. There's another one over there called Chef's Gallery. Right up the back of Star City here. I walk against the lights here, I'm not standing there all day. I can't believe how fast the time's gone. So we walk down Union Street here, it's been like, it's been over an hour since I left to come into the city. And I don't really feel like I've done that much. All I've done is a quick skirt over Piedmont Bridge. Look at the hotels, the construction site for the harbour side, and then stop there at Ministry of Coffee for a, for a flat white. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a bit a bit windier now. Maybe you can hear it on the microphone. I should point out, once upon a time I worked in Star City Casino many, many moons ago. Worked on the gaming floor. I can't say I miss it. You know, casinos are awful places. Full of degenerate gamblers, crooks. Tragic people. I didn't enjoy it at all. I 
I'm not going to begrudge people going to them though when you know for a little bit of entertainment here and there and to go and see shows and you know somewhere to stay they've obviously got accommodation there but all of the you know all of the problem people that frequent those places is is not real great regardless of the tax money that it brings in the government We've walked past all these takeaway joints before on Piermont Bridge Road. Oh look, they've got snack packs in there. The famous snack packs of Sydney. Full of kebab meat and cheese and chips and all that sort of stuff. I can't believe how many people are out and about today. I think it was a Friday. Must be just the uh, nice clear skies that have got them out. I suppose we're spring though. So there's, and given the low Australian dollar, there's probably a lot of tourists coming over from, from Europe and the Americas to visit Australia while it's cheaper. Here's another view of that bridge out the back of the Ibis that used to go over to the monorail. Long gone. joggers out and about Seeing we're almost back to where we started, I'll shift over to the other side of the bridge. Oh look, there's a sparrow, oh my god. I didn't think we had sparrows anymore. Thought they'd all been outcompeted out. Let's finish up over on this side of the Piermont Bridge. Face towards the, uh, the Maritime Museum and Barangaroo while I say goodbye to you. Wonder if there's some people down the King Street Wharf over there enjoying some lunch. So yeah. We finish up. I finish up my lunchtime walk here on a Wednesday in Sydney. Thank you for coming on the skirt today. Like, comment, subscribe. Put in your suggestions if, you, if there's anywhere you want me to go next. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. The video is over.